You said the snow removal efforts continue here. They hope to have the runways open here within the hour. And then the idea is, at least the plan at this point, the expectation is to have departures beginning tomorrow. Live at the airport, John Rollins, Channel 6, Action News. All right, John, thank you. At Amtrak's 30th Street Station tonight, trains are running, but you should expect delays of 20 minutes to an hour up and down the Northeast Corridor. PM Eastern Standard Time Monday February 17th 2003 The snow is finally ending completely but the total is large with the 12 plus and here you can see we have three more because I rose the did this the uh, getaway and just rose the uh, ruler up, but uh, 15 inches. That's our total. Interesting. There are still flurries, and yet you can see there's blue sky up there, even with the flurries. It's an interesting thing, but snow falls so slowly that sort of thing can happen. I just realized I'm a lot higher above the fence than I usually am. <laughs> right? Yeah. That gives you an idea. Yeah, it was a lot of snow. Huh? It was a lot of snow. I haven't looked at it lately. Huh? I haven't looked at it in a little while. Not that I could see before. Michael wants you. <laughs> Mommy, what do you want? They are starting to work on the roads. Buried under 15 inches of snow. A rather compacted 15 inches. <laughs> mode here at the Weather Channel for what could end up being one of the greatest storms of all time around Baltimore. That's a possibility when it's all added up. You know what? The storm isn't finished yet throughout the Northeast. This is a live look at what you're seeing in New York City right now. We'll tell you what is headed into the area coming up. Hello and welcome to this very special edition of Weather Center. I'm Janetta Jones. And I'm Paul Emick. Thanks so much for being here at the Weather Channel. When we say alert mode, that means the conditions have become so threatening in a part of our country, in this case the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast, we're into a heightened state. We're bringing you extensive coverage designed to keep you ahead of the storm. Right here at the Weather Channel, a lot to bring along. Even looking at the latest on the storm here, rough problems, disaster and emergency declarations already have been announced by the governors of New York, Kentucky, New Jersey, West Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. So far, 20 deaths reported from the storm. Some of the heaviest snow has been seen throughout the state of Maryland, where in some spots we've seen more than 40 inches. Now into Boston right now, another area still bracing for the storm's worst. As it cranks up the coast, we're joined now by reporter Ron Gallivan, who joins us live with the latest. Now, Ron, you're keeping your eye on the situation there, and how are things shaping up there today? 
Paul, we got a pretty good storm going. It started out as a northeaster around uh, 10 o'clock this morning with a real fine snow. Uh, it's been picking up in intensity, the wind. Uh, the snow that's falling now is still fairly fine, but it's coming down at, the, at a rate of about two inches an hour, something like that. Boston has declared a snow emergency and issued a no parking ban and a lot of the surrounding communities. Have